What's up, guys? And my females. Um, God said he wanted me to do a part two of how I was molested as a child. So, I really didn't want to talk about this, y'all. Like I said, but I'm going to do, do this part two because he asked me to. I, it's a lot of stuff and details and things like that I left out. On my first video. So this will be my last video I make on this. I uh, just uploaded uh, videos of y'all hearing my brother's opinion. You know. So number one. I want you to see this photo. Let me put this down right here. Look at this photo right here. This was a photo of y'all. Y'all remember when... um. They used to have like showbiz. It was showbiz, but showbiz turned into Chuck E. Cheese. Remember that, y'all? So I'm not, I'm like, not the younger people, but the older people. Y'all know it was showbiz and then it turned into uh, Chuck E. Cheese. So check it out. My mama took me to showbiz, aka Chuck E. Cheese. This when I was a, a kid. But you can, a photo could tell a lot, y'all. A photo can tell a lot. Look upon this photo. If you take a kid to Chuck E. Cheese, whatnot, they should be happy, you know, but it wasn't the case. They should be happy and smiling. Look at the photo. So, and this, this is my mom. This is my younger sister who was my sperm donors pit who, uh, me and my twin got abused more for, but look at me. Can you see me right there? I'm supposed to be happy. Let me let me see if I can zoom in. Look at me. Look at my face. When they say look up, you can clearly see something was wrong. So, my mom, my other younger sister, and me. My twin wasn't posting it as though, but you can clearly see something was wrong. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys that and um, my report cards. I tried to find my report cards, but I remember reading them. The Like in elementary school, the teachers would sit up there and write on my report card. I'm worried about LaShonda. Like she only thing she do is sit here and rock. So it tell you that. It should tell anybody who have common sense that it's a problem, okay? And sometimes we ignore those problems. But me, here today, I recognize the problems because it's something I've been through. Or have endured or experienced. So, if I sit up there and see a kid looking like that, First thing I'm going to do, me, myself, personally, I'm going to say, baby, are you okay? Is it something you need to talk about or anything? I don't care if their parents are there or not. I'm going to sit up there and make sure that they are okay. And, um, y'all, this is crazy, man. But I want to let you guys know, which I think I did. I've healed from this. So I'm not doing the videos that have self-pity. No, nothing. I'm doing the videos because God asked me to do the videos to talk about what I've been through to help the people that's going through it. To help the people who has been through it, who don't know how to get up out of it. Y'all, okay? So that's it. I've healed. God, God has healed me. I'm happy. Okay, yeah, it bothers me. Like, when I think about it a little bit, to who, who, okay, who in your right mind, regardless of who or not, it would bother to sit up there and think about your father still doing that to you. Yes, I forgave him. Forgiveness is the number one key step. So I sit up there, I took time out. Y'all took time, two years out with God. Two years out with God, I dropped everybody. The, the, the chick I was kicking it with, everything. She couldn't understand, but I did what God told me to do. 
Okay? That's why I'm about to be blessed. And uh, that's another topic I'll get on. Why people get jealous of your come up, but they don't know what you've been through. They don't know that you uh, was, obedient, was obedient to God. And be, because of that, he, he blesses you, man. When you, we all have tests, man. We, ha we all have tests. So if you do what he wants you to do and you're obedient, he will bless you. But it's not about me preaching. So I'm doing this part two because he asked me to. Only because he asked me to. I don't like talking about this, y'all. Even though I ill, it's still, I don't like talking about it. Okay? So I'm doing what he asked me to do. So part two. And I had to write my little notes down because I know what happened to me. But it's so many things on my other video. I left out, y'all. It's just, just off the top of my dome. Yes, I remember what happened to me. But sometimes that's what I'm going to tell you. Sometimes because it happened to me and I felt like I always had to be perfect. If not, I would get the dog mess beat out of me. It caused me to have to study harder, harder than other people. Like, um, when, like, for instance, like, you know, I was a correctional officer and stuff like that in my past. So while everybody else was running off playing, I had to study. I have to study 10, 20 times harder than anybody else. Um, I'm a pharmacy tech. For me, I had to study 10 or 20 times harder than anybody else. Like it, 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 it's harder for me. I can learn, but it's harder for me to, um, what's the word that I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. It's harder for me to take it all in. Versus where somebody you could you could show the average person one time, but I might need like three times for you to show me before I get it. So that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I don't know the correct term right now, but um, I'm doing this only because God asked me to do. I don't want to do no second video, and this will be my last video because I told him, Yo, God, if I do this last video, this is it. I don't want to talk about this no more. It's done. It's in my past, and when I bring it up. Who wouldn't, man, anybody father who would molest, yeah, okay, of course I heal, but it still bother me, y'all, to think about it. And then, like, oh, yeah, if it bother you, you ain't healed. Yes, I have healed. I just don't want to talk about it no more because it's in my past. So get it right and stop judging. So check it out. Number one, I want to talk about my report cards. I remember... When I looked at the report cards, my teacher said we worried about LaShonda. Like, only thing she do is sit here and rock. No, nothing. But still, when they sit up there and see something was wrong, y'all, nobody did nothing back in the 80s to help us. You know, and even when they seen it was a problem, it's like people looked over it. You know, and I felt like if somebody would have stepped in to try to help, Things would have been different, you know, um, but they didn't and they knew something was wrong. So back then, m most people tend to overlook things like that, you know, and I don't know. So that was it. Number one thing on my report cards. And then I remember like, um, I wanted to play like, I'm telling y'all now how it affected me. Okay. I healed most of it, but the only thing that I didn't heal, I would get on that later. But I remember, like, junior high school, I was, like, uh, 12, yeah, 12 or 13. Yeah, because 7th grade, 12, 8th grade, it was 13, and then ninth grade, I was 14. So, 12 or 13, I remember I wanted to uh, play ball and stuff like that. My nose is itching, sorry. But, um... Yeah, so I remember me holding the ball. I felt like I was bouncing my mom's head or something like that. So I didn't never want to play the ball. I know this is this was from the effects that the abuse did to me. Okay, but that part is here. So I remember like all of that. So I remember I want to talk. I'm looking down too because I got my notes written down. But I remember. He used to, as a kid, 
like when he helped us with our homework, he would be like, um, like if you ask a kid, like what's two plus two? Yeah, it's four. So say for instance, if I said three, he'll be like wrong. And then digging his, his knuckles in our head, you know? So that caused another issue problem, which I have here where I always felt like I had to, uh, be right or be perfect um and then when i became an adult and when he was in a part of our life like my mama let him go i think when i was probably like eight or nine so once i realized i didn't have to what he did it made me feel like i always had to be perfect so once i realized i didn't have to be uh, perfect, then I could relax a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If it make, if it makes sense. So just because I like with him, I always felt like I had to have things right. So I'm like, yo, it's okay now, Shonda. You good. You know, um, you don't have to be right. You know, so it affected me upon that type level. So let's see what else I have to talk about. Um, I remember when he used to get drunk and when he used to get drunk, he used to beat my mom. Okay, yo. So when he used to beat my mom, um, me, I have a twin, a twin sister. So my twin sister used to be scary. So she never helped. I was the one that will always try to help my mom and stuff like that. But my weight wasn't up. It's up now, but I would, my weight wasn't up. So no matter what I try to do to help her, he would throw me. I remember one time he threw me through a window. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, I mean, it was just a lot. But, okay, so I remember, like, when he would used to, like, you could tell. Like, they will get to arguing and stuff like that. And um, I would, I, I would know that it was coming. So, once I know, I got, as a kid, I got scared, yo. You know, because the kid shouldn't have to see. A kid shouldn't be around that. It should, a, a child should be around a positive environment. And that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Kids don't need to be seeing that at that young age. So, um, I remember hearing him yell and just get angry and mad. And I knew it was coming. So, I would... I would use the bathroom with myself. Like, pee on myself. And... That's something I got to tell y'all. If you got a kid um, who pee the bed when they shouldn't pee the bed, or if they use the bathroom on themselves, that child is being molested, yo. If you have a, a boyfriend or a significant or other, whoever, girlfriend or whatnot, pay attention to your kids because if your child is doing that, it's a problem. They're being molested. Okay. So you wonder why, okay, I potty trained the child. The, the child shouldn't be doing this. It's a reason why y'all, you know, it's a reason why you have to pay attention to the signs. Okay. So that's that. And I don't really want to talk about it. I mean, talk about that much more, but my twin, she didn't, she didn't have that problem. You know, I really thought she was okay, but when we became an adult, she said, Shonda, you know what? Because she didn't never really talk about it. She said, you know what, Shonda? He really messed us up. And I thought she was okay, though, y'all, you know? But, yeah, so you won't be okay until you put the work in to actually heal. I'm good now. So I'm just telling, listen to me clearly. I'm telling you, I'm I'm telling y'all this, so it's somebody, God told me, it's several people that need to hear this. So I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. And I don't care about the criticism. I don't, I don't want to hear no negative comments, no nothing. At least I'm doing it, y'all. It's, this is for me to sit up there and help somebody that's going through it now. When I didn't have nobody to help me. Okay? So that's that. And... I'm not trying to get no sympathy. I don't care about none of that. It, like, it is what it is. I heal. That's why I smile now. But at least if I'm doing this, y'all can sit up there and just hit the like button for me. 
I don't care. I never begged for no likes before. I'm not begging for likes. But hit the like button so my video can get out and more people who has been abused can see this before they give up, before they take their life, man. So I kind of got off subject. Okay. Let me sit up here and see. My cousin, my cousin Tanya, um, I remember she used to come babysit us and stuff like that. So, y'all, um, she came over one particular night. And I remember her parents came to get her. She was just rushing out. No nothing. So then her later on, I call him my sperm donor because he ain't no dad, but my... My birth dad, um, touched on her, y'all. Touched on her. So that was another sign. I mean, how many signs do you need to sit up there and make you wake up and say, hey, I should leave my child along with this, along with this predator? How many signs do you need? Okay. So at some point in time, it becomes being reckless, being stupid, being dumped down, or being in love with a guy. And choosing a guy over your kids. Or they doing something to manipulate you. Witchcraft, voodoo. Yeah, that's in the Bible too. So I, I don't know. But at some point in time, it becomes stupidity to not listen to your child. To not listen to no, like, the signs are all around. Okay? So, <sighs> I remember... The only thing, like, this man, he would get so angry. And he would just beat us for no reason when my mom left. And then sometimes my younger sister, who I showed you on the picture, um, was the reason. But since she was his pick, it was just like, sometimes if you do something up, like if a child do something, you would punish them, like, go stand in the corner for time out. Or back in the days, we would get whoopings, yo. We would get whoopings. So, if my younger sister did something wrong, uh, when my mama left, he would punish us for it. And then he'd be swinging back and forth, laughing. Like, laughing, <laughs> swinging back and forth. So, I said, well, what the hell is wrong with this dude, you know? But, it's just crazy, man. So, he would... I don't know. So... I don't know, but I just, when I, I used to rock back and forth, rock it, it consoled me as a kid, you know, and then I used to suck my thumb and stuff like that too. So that gave me peace. It brought me peace enough to calm myself, you know, and it's crazy, y'all, because parents supposed to be the adults. So, if you're a kid, you only go by what you're taught. You only go by what you know. But they're supposed to protect. They're supposed to be the protectors. Yo, so if you don't have that and then your mom is gone, but then when she get back, she getting the dog mess beat out of her too. What are you left with? Besides somebody that can see it. On the outside to say, hey, baby, I see something is not right. Let me make a phone call. Hey, baby, uh, what's going on? Or would you like to talk about it? What is it that you would like me to do? Do you want to come and sp like something? Nobody did nothing. Yo, back in them days, it's like, oh, we overlook it. That's not what God want us to do, y'all. That's not what God want us to do. That's why he... Sent me because most people don't know what to deal with it. I mean, most people don't know how to deal with it or what to do, yo. So it's crazy, and I don't know. I ain't really want to talk about this, and I really don't, really don't need this. But it's things that I didn't say on my last uh video. He said I want you to make a, a part two, and I said okay, God, I really don't want to do this. I did part one for you. I never planned on doing part one. I did part one for you. So, and then, I wanted to sit up there and let y'all hear what my brother had to say. 
So most people be like, oh, like him, when I sit up there, my sperm donor, I call him my sperm donor, and I wrote a song about it too. My music is on my playlist. You want to hear my albums? Um, I mean, you want to hear my, uh, my music? Listen to my album. It's times when I became a teenager. I didn't know how to deal with this, y'all. And it was, it's something else I had to tell you on that paper, but I, I remember now. When I became a teenager, I'm talking about like 18 or 19. I used to cut on myself, y'all. I used to cut on myself to release the pain. I didn't know how to deal with it. That's why you had people. Most people don't understand. They like, uh, okay, this MF, they crazy. They cut on themselves. Who would cut on themselves? But they'll be like, most people do it to act out for attention or whatnot. That's not the case. For the people who cut on themselves, I'm going to do a song about that too. For the people who cut on themselves, they try to release pain because they don't know how to deal with it. You know, and then mama took us to talk to counselors and stuff. You know what the counselor said? Oh, your daughters is fine. Everybody think you fine. Everybody think you fine. Even when you're not. Okay. So I want y'all to know the ones who, who, who has been abused, the ones who's going through it now, I want y'all to know it's not fine. It's not fine. You will be fine through God, but you have to heal it. Okay. You have to heal it. And the key step to heal it is forgiveness. And it's so much more. I had to put mad work in. You do your self affirmations, everything like that. It's a process. y'all. It's a process and it won't happen overnight. It won't happen overnight, but I just remember, man, I remember a lot. And then, um, it's something else I want to say, like, this is the only thing. And I'll be honest, the only thing that I haven't been able to heal yet and God do it. Cause he done did the rest. So I don't know what this man did to me, but it's just like blooms. I don't like them. Like, if I see a move, you know how a helium bloom, you will blow it up. To, for me to see it up and see it float back and forth, um, it bothers me. So, if somebody, most of like, if I'm dating somebody, they don't not, not to get me that. But for me to see a balloon uh, move back and forth like that, it bothers me. So, I have to pop it and I'll hang it up against the wall or something like that. But... I don't like to see that. And then sometimes, like, if you're taking a bath to see the water move, it bothers me. So when I see things move, sometimes, like, if I see blinds move, like, it bothers me. So that's the last thing that I have to deal with. Um, And I don't know what he did on that part where it affected me or bothered me so much. But that's the last thing that... I'm working on dealing with to heal. I mean, to heal. I heal, but to heal that part, like the movement of the blooms and stuff like that. So I know it sounds weird, but I don't know. I don't know. As a kid, I can't remember that part. I remember from when I was like five years old, but that part, I can't remember. I can't remember like what it was that he did. Um, to make me not like to see things move, like it's certain things though. Okay, it's not all, so it bothers me, and then I, it bothered me so bad to the point where I I'll, I'll be praying like God, uh, you know, I'll be praying to Him and stuff like that. So that's it. But other than that, everything else I'm healed on. So, it's just that. And I know it sounds weird. And then the cutting and stuff, that was like, when I was like 18 or 19, yeah, not no more. Not no more. I held on that, y'all. I've held on it. So, God want me to sit up here and speak out to the people who's actually going through it, who's been through it, who haven't healed, so I can sit up there and try to tell them what I did to heal and show them what I've done. So that's it. The rest is healed. And I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Because it was times, man, like, yeah. I didn't even care. Like, 
they 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 tried to break me as a kid. They tried to break me, and it didn't work. Okay, we all go through things, man. Anybody they sit up here and say they haven't been through nothing? It's a lie. You can have all the money in the world, all the money in the world, and still not be happy. Just because you got all the money, it don't mean that you still don't go through things. You can go through things within your mind. You can go through things within yourself. You see what I'm saying? So it doesn't, we all go through things. I don't care who we are. I don't care how much money you have. Money don't make you. Your spirit make you. God make you. You know? So that's that. In this world, man, it'll be a better place. If you had <laughs> more genuine, real people versus demons, demonic, Spirit, what you got them? That's why they beat they forgive me, God. Beat they ass in prison. They don't like child molesters. Nobody like them. They get their ass beat in prison. You heard me? And yeah, I'm a I'm a CO. I sit up there and speak about things I seen in COs too. But y'all gotta tell me if y'all wanna hear them stories. Because they some crazy stories, y'all. I was around mass murderers. I don't care. Like it is what it is. Who am I to judge? You know, that's up to God. But some crazy stuff, man. Some crazy stuff. There's a lot of stuff I got to talk about. But child abuse, anybody do something to a child or shouldn't. Like, but they still do. And they deserve everything that they have coming to them. And that's why <laughs> when they get locked up, child predators, they get their ass beat, y'all. They don't like that. Nobody like that. If I see a child uh, getting done wrong, I stand up for them. I'll speak up for them. If I see them sitting up there looking how I looked in that picture, in that photo, I'll say, hey, hold up. Something is not right. They didn't do that for me, though, y'all. They didn't do that for me. You know, back in, like, the 80s and stuff, they kept that stuff quiet. Back in the 70s. Because, you know, I was born, well, it is what it is. It don't matter. But they kept it quiet. And then... Just because somebody's your family member, or maybe they might be your favorite cousin, don't make it right. If they're a predator, they're a predator. Should nobody be helping on no kid? Nobody. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you've been abused. It still don't give you the right to do it. So then, um, I remember my mom, a friend, um, who's a preacher, she said, Shonda, your father, father molested him. That's why he did it to y'all. Like, huh? And then now it, it makes sense. So they was like, yo, Shonda, his father didn't do that. So I said, my mama friend is not going to lie. It had to be a stepfather or something. So come to find out, his stepdad molested him. So we all have choices in life. Either you're going to choose the light or you're going to choose the darkness. Okay. When you become abused, either you're going to choose to abuse or you're going to choose to love. You feel me? So I chose the light. I chose the love. Most people don't know how to deal with it. They don't know how to get over it. Therefore, they lash out. They tend to hurt. Now, okay, yeah, it, it, back in the past, it gave me a temper problem. Now I calmed it down. But I'm still not nothing to play with. I'm telling you, I'm I'm still not. I do not play. My brother, listen to what he, he has to say. I'm not nothing to play with. But I still chose light over darkness. Okay? And I have angels around me all the time. Regardless, oh, they like, yo, that's dust. It ain't no dust. If you look at it, dust fall. <laughs> if it was if it if it shouldn't the angel spirits I have around me rise they fly through you see what I'm saying so most people they don't believe in things they can't see until they actually see it and then once they do see it they still want to doubt it because your eyes are not open you're not spiritually in tune you lack <laughs> that's the uh, the best way I can put it, you lack um, the ability to see what should be seen. <laughs> you 
So that's it. And who am I? I'm not trying to make you a believer or whatnot. But things that the natural eye can't see, cameras can pick it up. And I remember, like, y'all, after my mama passed away, um, I remember these birds. The birds fly and make hurts for me in formation. And I could put a video up if y'all want to see it. I got a uh, photo proof too because I knew people wouldn't believe me. But the only reason I did that because my own twin. Like when I told her, I, I'm like, yo, the birds make hurts for me. She said, uh, Shonda, you sound crazy. I said, I don't care. That's what they do. I said, let me ask you something. When have I ever lied to you? She said, never. I said, so why don't you believe me now? She said, Shonda, because it sound crazy. So then, all in the instant, they made hurts in the sky. She said, oh my God, they just did it. I said, I've been trying to tell you. So people don't believe in what they can't see unless it happens to them. And then she go on to say, weird stuff started happening to her after mama died. She started finding coins under her pillow. Uh, feathers and everything like that. So sometimes when you don't know, Google it. Uh, why am I finding these things? Google got the answer for everything, y'all. When mechanics don't have the answer for everything, well, not over guys. So I'm not like, so it is what it is though. But people be so quick to doubt you. When, if you could tell them you seen a ghost, oh, they ain't going to believe the ghost until you get it on camera. Even when you get it on camera, they still not going to believe you. So what? You'll never be able to please everybody. You will never be able to make people see things from your standpoint of view, but you can only resonate with those people that are on your level, chosen like you. You see what I'm saying? So my people who has experienced the things that I have, that I'm talking about, y'all know because y'all chosen too. You see what I'm saying? Y'all know the ones because y'all been abused too. You feel me? So y'all know. And I know a lot of y'all, like I got to, I'm thankful. Let me sit up and say this. To all my subscribers, I'm thankful. Mo I, I never planned on doing videos. So this is God. But I did like my grill videos, my uh jewelry. And I know y'all like to see that stuff too. But I have to talk about what God want me to talk about too. So not sitting up there preaching to y'all. But this can be helpful to y'all too. Because you never know. Hey, you can have a kid too. And you will want to know the signs to look, look for. And then it'll sit up there and make you more aware. Like, hey, I better watch my baby around granddad or grandma. I'm telling you, y'all, it can anybody could be a child predator. Listen, listen to me, man. Anybody could be a child predator. It could be your best friend. You not even know it until you sit up there and open the door and catch them humping on your kid. Then what you gonna do? You won't be ready to hurt them, right? You won't be ready to hurt them. So I'm telling you, don't put nothing past nobody. Trust nobody but God. But God. Simple as that, man. Because they out here, they out here, it could be your own fucking, forgive me, y'all, because it could be your own siblings, y'all. This is what I'm trying to say. A child predator, you just not going to see it. You just have to walk in and see it. Or the child got to tell you, and it's up to you to believe it or not. But most adults don't believe kids because they think, oh, they little. They don't know what they're talking about. Or because you love that man more than you love your kids. Or because you love that woman more than you love your kids. Make it make sense. Because nine times out of ten, that child is not lying. Every blue moon a child might lie. And we know that. But nine times out of ten... Kids don't lie. They going to sit up there and voice their honest opinion to you. They going to speak what it is, what, what they thinking up on their mind. Y'all know? Because they'll say it. Oh, you fat. And they'll be the, and you'll be, you'll be like, shut up. And they'll be to the hurt somebody's feelings. You know, they real. And I mean, they real. It can't get no realer than that, y'all. Listen to your kids. When your kid tell you the, the boogeyman is in the room, you better sit up there. If you, I don't see no boogeyman. You better sit up there and take it as a sign that the boogeyman might not be something that can be seen. You feel me? Take it as a sign. Anybody who viewed this video, you got kids. Check on your kids. Check on your kids. Ask them, baby, is somebody touching you inappropriate? Teach them. Nobody should be touching you down here. If you if they got to be washed up and stuff like that, nobody should be touching you. Under, teach them the difference between 
an inappropriate touch versus a touch that should, like how they should be touched. Y'all know what I'm trying to say? Teach them. Teach them. And most of all, when they come to you and tell you something has, somebody is touching them or somebody didn't do something right. What they didn't do right, baby, you have to learn how to talk to your kids. Interact with them. You know, and it's like, it's a lot of stuff I, I have to talk about. But this is my part two of this video. And this will be my last video I make on it because I didn't plan on doing this stuff at all. And it's only because God asked me because somebody need to hear it. If you want to listen to the story, that's fine. Because I like listening to stories and stuff like that too. So that's fine. But if you know somebody that's been abused, share the video with them or whatnot because it can help them. And I, uh, my child abuse videos I did on Facebook. I got more of a bigger Facebook feedback than I did on YouTube, which is don't, I mean, it doesn't matter. But I said that to say this, y'all, you never know what somebody is going through because half the people on my Facebook, most, most everybody on my Facebook I know, I talk to a, a certain point of time or they're my family. So I don't accept strangers on my Facebook page. That's that's just me. But once I posted the video there and posted it on YouTube, man, guys, um, and females, my ladies, the response I got back, like, they was like, oh, my God. She, the One of the ladies was like, you answered my questions that I've been asking God to answer and blah, blah, blah. I got more feedback on Facebook than I did on YouTube. And most of them are people I know that I hadn't even had no idea that they was dealing with abuse. That it still affected them to this day. So I got a lot. If y'all can see the comments that I got, um, it's crazy. It blew me back. Because these was people that I was talking to, uh, that I work with. I didn't know they was abused as a kid and they was having problems dealing with it. Like, this blew me back, y'all. It blew me back, man. So, you just never know what somebody is going through. And, uh, I don't know. That's it. Fathers, protect your kids. Protect the women. And, uh, don't beat on them. Yo, I know females shouldn't hit, uh, guys either. You know, but don't beat on them. If they, if they hit you, yeah. Okay, you can say, hey, stop. Or I'm gonna I'm pop your 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 butt back, um, and that's that. If they hit you a second time, yeah, you got all reasons. I mean, you can defend yourself, but to sit up there and constantly beat on them, yo, for no reason, that individual has unhealed wounds that he haven't dealt with, and just like I did it, you need to sit down with God and heal it. You need to sit up there, listen to your affirmation videos. Hell, you have to heal before you jump in any relationship or it will fail. I'll sit up there and talk about that too, y'all. So, it is what it is. This is my part two of how I was sexually abused by my sperm donor. Because I'm saying, where is my sperm donor? That's my track. Listen to my uh play. My album is on my playlist, y'all. Lashana Strozier, a.k.a. Uh, say what? My album title is T-H-U-G. Check my album out. I talk about things that I went through. Um, I talk about a lot of stuff. And um, how I try to take my life, y'all. Last but not least, I try to take my life. When I was a teenager, I tried to take my life. And then in the process of me taking my life, I remember I was on the phone uh, with my friend. And then, like... Something knocked me out. I'm mean, then when I woke up, I was all bloody and everything. I was all bloody and everything. And then my phone rang, and I'm like, "Hello," and she said, "Shonda, I want to know if you was okay because I had a dream you slid both of your wrists and you was dead." So I dropped the phone and started back tripping, trying to figure out if I was dead or alive. You know, and because I was bloody, I didn't even know that freaked me out so bad, y'all. I wrote about it. Check my song out. It's called What's My Purpose in Life. Check my other tracks out. I got um I got some positive tracks. And then, then keep this in mind. I wrote wrote this way back like 
some of it, uh, I fit the rest of it. I finished off like nine years ago, but some of it I wrote like when I was like 20 something, like 21, 20, 23, about 23. So I got two hit them up tracks, but check my album out. Y'all like, you know what I'm saying? But until next time, it's your girl. Say what? I hope y'all have a nice day.